Hey, welcome to the channel. We're going to create this animation, so let's get started. Begin with a plane and scale it up to 5. Now, scale it in the x-axis. Add a loop cut in the center and subdivide the whole mesh three times. Select the mesh, go to the mesh menu, and split the edges by face. Then, go to the select menu, choose random, and adjust the value and seed number. Subdivide the mesh again, split the edges from faces, and repeat this process multiple times according to your preference. Now, duplicate the half side of the mesh and extend it along the y-axis. Next, go to the UV editor, unwrap the mesh from view, adjust the UVs, change the pivot point to individuals, and scale down the UVs to zero. Add a vertex weight edit modifier and a vertex group. Select the group and check the Group Add option. Invert the falloff and apply the textures in the influence with the desired settings. Add a Solidify modifier, select the Vertex group, set the thickness to 1.5 and the offset to 1. Now, go to the Vertex Weight modifier and set the texture coordinates to UV. Add a UV Wrap modifier and an Empty. Select the Empty and Plane in the modifier, then drag the modifier on top. Animate the Empty in the Y axis. Now, add a camera and adjust its position. Add a light, adjust it. and go to the Shading tab to give a metal material to the mesh. Reduce the roughness. Add a bevel modifier and And if it's not working, go to the Solidify modifier and change the factor to 0.2. Check if the bevel is now working. Set up the lighting and adjust it accordingly.
Also, add mist in the world settings. Render it, then go to the compositor. Add a color ramp node set to B spline. Adjust the ramp and add the mist and original render. Add a glare node, set it to fog glow, and set the mix to 1. Set the threshold to 0 0.8. Add the original render and the glare. Now, your render is ready. You can adjust the render settings accordingly. Thank you for watching. If this video helped you subscribe to the channel for more tutorials like this.